In other news, first a guilty verdict and now life in prison without the possibility of parole. Yeah, so today a judge sentenced George Wagner IV for the role that he played in the 2016 Pike County Massacre. WLWT News Five's Todd Dykes was inside the courtroom once again and was there today for the sentencing. Well, convicted killer George Wagner was mostly emotionless during today's sentencing hearing, but it was just the opposite for loved ones of the people who died as a result of a plan that Wagner helped execute. I pray to God that your son learns what kind of a monster you really are and never wants anything to do with you. I pray for that. I pray for you not to live. I want you to die just like you and your evil family did my baby girl, Hannah Hazel Gilly. Frankie. Roden, Hannah Mae Roden, Chris Roden Jr., Dana Lynn R Roden, Chris Roden Sr., Kenneth Roden, and Gary Roden. Those powerful words were delivered by the mother of Hannah Gilly, who was engaged to Frankie Roden. Last month, a jury found Wagner guilty of killing Hannah and Frankie, along with six of their loved ones. Today, Judge Randy Deering sentenced Wagner to life in prison without the possibility of parole. We're satisfied with it. The most important thing was getting those eight life without paroles. George Wagner IV will never be in a position to hurt anyone ever again. I'm just happy for our family that they got to see this. They actually they got some justice. Prosecutors agreed not to pursue the death penalty in George Wagner's case because of a deal they made with his brother and co-defendant Jake Wagner. Jake agreed to testify for the state in order to spare George and their parents, Billy and Angela Wagner, from the ultimate punishment. Now all eyes are on Billy Wagner, the dad who faces the same charges that George faced. Billy's trial is still expected to happen at some point next year. Reporting in Pike County, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. By the way, during today's hearing, George Wagner chose not to speak. Through his attorney, Wagner maintains his innocence. Amelia.